I am Francesco Mazzei and this is the Great British Chef's Signature Series. For us making pasta, because I'm going to church, you know, every Sunday at least you make fresh pasta with your mother. It's a family thing, you know, it's like a tradition which uh, those days I do with my kids at home. Fiume is basically, for me, a bit like uh, the Amalfi Coast. We're not on the sea, but we're on, on the Thames. So when it's a sunny day, it feels like we are there. And the food reflects that as well. Simplicity is the key of Italian cooking. If I tell you about tagliolini with truffle, white truffle, it's a three ingredient, and it's probably the most expensive pasta dish in the world. That's the power of Italian cooking. We don't play much on the decoration of the dish, but we play with ingredients. And this is our sophistication. Hi, I'm Francesco Mazzei. I'm uh, the chef patron of this beautiful restaurant called Fiume in Battersea Power Station. And today we're cooking one of my signature dishes, which is a scialatielli with vongole and amalfi lemon. What I like about cooking this dish is the simplicity. Okay, it is the greatness of Italian cooking. Three, four ingredients, and they make the most amazing dish. That's why I like to cook this dish. Well, the first step is uh, mixing the semola and the double zero flour together, and make this what we call fontana in Italian. Then we add the egg yolks, and with the fork, we start mixing them together. My tips to making pasta is keep it simple. All right, don't overdo it. Just follow the recipe. And don't forget that the most simple things are often the most difficult to make, okay? Just follow the, the recipe and use the best ingredients you can find uh, and you're done. This is also the greatness of Italian cooking. As you can see, I'm adding some water here and there because uh, as you can see, I'm doing this pasta only with the uh, egg yolk. It's coming together now. So we do this by hand, but if you have one of those machines at home, KitchenAid, do use it. So I think making pasta is uh, therapeutic, you know? Just make it for yourself and then you enjoy. That's your pasta now, nice, all together, soft, but not too soft. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna cover it with it and let it rest in the fridge for about one hour, two hours. The resting pasta is very, very important because when you, you believe in a pasta, it's like muscles. So now I've been working on it, it's very tense. So when it goes through the machine, it doesn't come as smooth or as silky. So when it rests, it's easy to, to work with it. So, pasta now is uh, nice and rested. This pasta has to get very thin, but we're gonna use a pasta machine now. But of course, my mom will have used this one only, yeah? I mean, uh, people at home can use a rolling pin, but what I suggest, make your pasta slightly softer, okay? And make sure it dries a bit before, uh, before you cook with that. So then you can achieve the same uh, result. This particular pasta, Shalatielli, tends to be slightly, slightly thicker than uh, the sheets for, you will use for tortelli or tortellini or ravioli or stuff like that, so it's slightly thicker. But still, look, nice and silky like that. And this is what you want, you know? Look, you want this silkiness of pasta. You want to see your hands through, look, yeah? And what we do, just put some more semola. Yeah. And some more semola here. So it's not gonna stick together. Just, you know, basically, you roll it. You have to make sure you're as, as, uh, as precise as you can. And what we do basically, we make sure that we mix the pasta together with the semola, so that's a stick together, as simple as that. And that's your scialatielli. Okay, so now we're gonna make the dish. Okay, open the vongole, cook the pasta, and finish the dish. Extra virgin olive oil. So a bit of chili here. Then I'm gonna grate this garlic on it. Lemon zest. Fee branch of parsley. Now, vongole. The worst thing you can do when you do vongole is uh, burning uh, the garlic. It will jeopardize the flavor. So, white wine. All right. All right, so that now. Boom. In a few minutes, they're going to open up. The worst thing you can do when you cook pasta, when pasta doesn't taste anything. So what we're going to do is go a bit of flavor here because of salt, and then we're going to finish with the flavor of the clams here. Look, this is ready now. Beauty. Look at that. Now, let's finish the dish. Yeah. 
It's refreshing not to use a, a colander. You know? Like this, like mama does. So what we do now, adding parsley to it. More extra virgin olive oil. Little bit of botarga. Botarga is basically grey mallet row. Beautiful, quite expensive. It gives the kind of umami taste to the dish. Now it starts to create that kind of uh, look emulsion that we want. Okay. A Amalfi lemon and waxed, of course. Bit of drops here and there. The flavor of Amalfi lemon is a bit sweeter, okay? But the, the, more, the very important thing is the skin, which is not waxy, first of all. It's got that particular lovely fresh taste. Right, so. Look at that. Ah, oh, if you can only smell this. It's amazing. This is Italy, right? Italy in a plate. Okay, so let's finish it. Botarga. This, this golden uh, look and the taste of this stuff is gorgeous. Lemon juice. A bit of amilolio. And extra virgin olive oil. Che bello. And here we go, shalatielli with vongole, botarga and amalfi lemon. How good is that?